In today's episode, a graphics card will burn, AFK fish farms will be implemented in real life, and villagers will speak. Get the fuck out of my house, you stupid Starting off with something I actually said last week, which was relating to this, as you can see, the hopper and the pot line up perfectly. Or do they? Yeah, that's right, they actually don't. This is terrible. Mojang, please fix this. A Twitter, or X, account known as Dangioni has gotten banned, and Dangioni was basically Roger Badgerman v2, and if you also don't know who Roger Badgerman was, well Roger Badgerman was supplying a bunch of leaks as to what was coming in future Minecraft updates, and the Dangioni account was actually doing the same. Now a few days ago he tweeted out an unreleased official Minecraft YouTube video which covered armadillo concept art. Now, well, basically after that the entire account just got removed however a few days later Minecraft did actually release that Minecraft monthly video indeed covering the exact same armadillo image let's just take a moment and laugh at the stupidity of some of these players that chief XD managed oh. to clip are you fucking kidding me how did four people just walk off Check out this user who made a custom Badlands or Mesa biome concept. Now who else wants this to become the default terrain generation? Cause I definitely do, this looks fantastic. Have you ever seen videos like this before and wondered what kind of crazy mods these must be and what kind of crazy PC you would need to run them? Well, although it looks sick, it's not actually inside of Minecraft. All these effects are modeled and rendered with Blender and then merge into the Minecraft footage. Now, of course, that doesn't take away from the fact that this looks incredibly realistic and impressive. Take a good look at this build, and now what if I told you that this was made in complete vanilla Minecraft, so without the use of a single mod? Crazy, right? Now, apparently this can be done with something called block display entities, which were introduced in 1.19.4, but I don't really have any further information, and I'm not sure how they work. Here's another something about which I don't exactly understand how it works, but it was pretty cool so I did decide to include it in this video. These things are known as CUD switches or comparator update detectors. These things detect things that observers or BUD switches which are block update detectors can't actually detect, with examples being editing a sign or even just clicking on the inside of a chest. And now it's all based off of the controversial quasi-connectivity on Java edition, but not gonna lie, as I did say, it's kinda too much for me to make sense of. But what I do know is that it allows for some incredibly cool hidden entrances. So apparently the Earth heard about something called an AFK fish farm in Minecraft and discovered how incredibly overpowered they are and decided to implement them in real life. One of the most popular ways to play Minecraft is together with others, and one way of doing that is by joining a server. However, as many people know, it can be dangerous sometimes to do so, or you might be a 7 year old who starts sharing your actual IP address online, trying to invite random people to join your server. Well that's why Minecraft in collaboration with Gamer Safer have created the official Minecraft server list. And now to be on this list servers need to meet a bunch of requirements as well as provide official contact information. And these servers will be encouraged to promote a safe environment and positive social behavior amongst players with which they can actually earn a series of badges. If you like this idea by Minecraft then please hit the like button and if you don't like it please hit the like button. I'm sure we all know pink sheep are one of Minecraft's rarest occurrences. Look at this casual player who found multiple close together. Um, <clears throat> oh well, does anyone else love the way that mob vote animations look? Well, you and Lego Man recreated every mob in Minecraft with the same style and I- Wait, what's that? Oh. I'm very sorry guys, but in classic Minecraft fashion, the Minecraft subreddit moderators removed this post at 9.3 thousand upvotes, with it being the top post of the week after just 24 hours. Like, what? 
Now, I can't really call this a weekly Minecraft show without covering probably one of the most important things that happens in the Minecraft community on a weekly basis. That's right, the updates, which in this case, we got snapshot 23w45a. And in this snapshot, we got three main huge features. First off, we got the Breeze Mob, which has a wind-powered attack that doesn't actually deal a lot of damage, but does knock the player back and it can spawn through the trial spawners, which are the second big feature. Now, they're actually a variant of monster spawners and can be found inside of the trial chambers, which is the third main feature. And these trial chambers can be gigantic. They're procedurally generated with many, many rooms and overpowered loot chests, as you can see here. Especially for the fact being that even though they can only be found under the deep slate level, they're not that rare. Now, the trial spawners actually drop rewards, one of these rewards being a key, which was already announced in kind of a peek at the trial chambers thing that Merging announced a few days before the snapshot. However, as it turns out, the key doesn't even do anything yet, but it does look pretty cool, and check out this more keys art by Gliffy. Nice. And on Bedrock Edition, we got beta and preview 1.20.50.24, including only two bug fixes this week, basically confirming that everything featured in the Java Edition snapshot will be arriving a week late to the previews. If you've been looking around the internet a little bit, you may have seen some of these memes in which villagers talk. Hey, down bitch. Get the fuck out. Well, someone by the name of Merck Gnilritz actually made an AI talking villages pack, which you can use inside of Minecraft. Incredibly cool. Hello. Oh, sorry. Go away. Ouch. How rude. Hello. Oh. Uh, oh, sorry. Hurry up. Good deal. Why should I do business with you? And now finally, here's Wax Fraud, showing us why it's so important to always carry a totem with you whilst playing hardcore. You guys are gonna follow me. Hey. What? Did I just hit the side of a building and pop a totem? Anyways guys, that's all for right now. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again next week. Bye bye.